Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Last time, we took care of the Tunlin Queen's weight management problem, and now we got the therapy pillow that we can put to use. Oh, um, yeah, evidently. <laughs> I, I wouldn't either. I, I don't want to go inside your head. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a giant octopus or something? Oh, yeah, that's usually how it works. Oh, if you think that the villain in this game is warped, wait till you see my next side LP. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think anyone says anything different between whether they're in their own room or if they're upstairs. Or if they're in the lobby and in their own room, I mean. Oh. Well, I mean, you, you're a plant person, so I would think you would bear fruits that people would eat. However that works. Oh, what do you mean? No, 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 we are not going there, Rand. Once you go inside her head, you're not coming back. Yeah, you already asked me that. It's the fat that makes you look fat. Oh, well, can I do that for other reasons? Oh, or that. Not really into that sort of thing, but whatever works for you, Nina. Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Like, what, a 135th soldier figurine or something? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Oh, right, yeah. Deuce is in dinner room. Okay, well, that's everything that we got here. I've also taken the time to rearrange my setup as I have listed in the video description, namely getting Sanamo back on Bosch, and I re-upped on Sesso for Espara so she could get a little more stats out of what she was having before. And let's see, yeah, let's go to Scatter. Actually, hold on. I think it sets me to Scatter again after that. Yep. Someone was telling me that. H.C. Bailey, it gets set to scatter even when you leave the whole place or whatever. So, thanks for letting me know about that. Okay, now, let's get back to... I almost said Tunlin, but no. Melodia, and, well, we gotta go back to the Elder Tree. In the Sea of Green, and I think this is about as close to there as we can get. And then we'll f finally get the answers we've been searching for. Right away! I'm sharpening my knife, Koopa! Now, now that's another game, viewers. Just don't call the whale over and over and over again without actually doing anything. Holy cow. But that's another game, viewers. Okay, let's see. I need to get Aspara back in the lead part of the order here. Oh, we got a new enemy that I don't think... I don't know that I've ever seen this guy before. <laughs> Just from the short distance. But, okay, let's see. W what do we got here? Let me... I don't even have this queued up in my database here. Give me a moment, viewers. <laughs> Okay, there they are. Striker Bears! And let's see, these guys are pretty unremarkable. They can cast Attack Up on themselves. So you might want to watch out for that. So let's go... Blunt. In the event that they actually cast that, I want to be ready. So, are you just gonna sit on your ass and do nothing there? Okay. 
These guys don't have any elemental weakness or anything to be worried about, but... Well, they're easy enough. I think these guys are indigenous to the Sea of Trees. You can't find them anywhere else. At least, not according to the sources that I looked up. Ah, might. Yeah, that's the attack up one. And I also bought a few ginsengs as well. For the next boss fight coming up. Spoiler alert, there's going to be a boss. Okay, so once again, with Aspara in the lead, talk to the Elder Tree. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Well, what do we need to go into your soul for? I thought you just use the pillow and you get your memories back or something. Well, let's take a look around as long as we're here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll pay them a visit over there. So I guess this is like, what, a dream world or something? Or heartland, okay. The heart of your soul. Ah. Oh. Tower, huh? Remember that for later, viewers. We'll have to keep an eye out for that guy. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so th there's a couple things I want to buy here. Namely, a chakram for uh, Sten there. Yeah, much more powerful than what we had before. It's non-elemental still, so I don't really care about holding on to the old weapon. But I do want to just buy the silver armor, which is much lighter than the life armor. Though it's not quite as light as the breath armor, but it has a lot more defense. So I think it's worthwhile. And in the upcoming area where, well yeah, I'll be going to eventually, there's an enemy who has... I forget exactly what it was. I think it's 79 Vigor. And I would like to be faster than that guy. So that's why I've got speed shoes all the way around on my party there. Even on Sten, so that he can be faster than another enemy. I still want to hold on to the life armor for the boss, though. For just the sheer defense that we get out of it. Oh, yeah, I think the other guy was talking about that. Well, we'll keep an eye out for it. Let's see, what do we got over here? Now, you can't get into the house in the back, even though there's doors there. Let's see if I can't get this guy to come over here. For some reason, you can only talk to people in that, I don't know, what is that, a jail cell? You can only talk to them from this spot, not through the bars, for some reason. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the other town from... Uh, the Elder Tree's youth, I guess, or something or other. Oh, right, I can just walk through the trees. I keep forgetting I can do that. <laughs> let's see, I don't think there's any treasure around here yet. In the towns, anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do the best I can. Just take off those nostalgia goggles. Oh, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, well, I kind of noticed that. And then what? That's... Trying to think of a maker or Matrix reference. Oh, okay. Well, shouldn't you know? I mean, if a demon attacked you, I would think you would know. Oh. Well, the world doesn't seem to be in any sort of imminent peril. I mean, well, except for the forest. But that was just like one tiny forest. Oh. Well, we got Ryu with us, so that helps. That's a good start. Maybe we can find more of these guys. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hmm. 
No, I don't think I really need to. That battle that I went into was with some really weak enemies. So I'm not worried about that. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we had, like, dark dragons and light dragons and everything. Ah. Hmm, I wonder why that was. That's... Hmm. Eh, I wouldn't worry about that. It's probably not important. Besides, we, like I said, we have Ryu. What more do we need? Oh, don't move, don't move. Thank you. <laughs> so that way I don't have to sit around waiting for you to walk back to this spot. Oh. Good, I guess. Were they a light dragon or a dark dragon? Hmm. That's... Hmm, I wonder what that was all about. Yeah, it's probably not important. Well, let's head on to the town of the Elder Tree's youth. Like, or not youth, uh, childhood. If a tree can have a childhood. And this might be a little easier to navigate if I had Topeta with me. Unfortunately, Topeta... There's only like a couple enemies around here that are weak to holy. And even those enemies are relatively easy to overcome. So... Yeah, I wouldn't even consider using Topeta for this part. Okay, how's it going? Oh. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Well, let's take a look around here. Oh, what are you doing here? Like an old man or something. But this is supposed to be a childhood or something. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, this is another tenant that you can bring into your town there. I'm not sure how a resident of the dream world is supposed to accomplish that, but it's there. So, yeah, I want to put him to use in the very near future, but let's wrap up our business here first. Ah, hmm. Well... Yeah, I didn't see anything over there. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we could take another look. Hey, how's it going? Come on. Go to the right. Move! Not that way. Okay, if he doesn't show up here in a couple seconds, I'll just edit out however long it takes for that guy to get over here. Ha-ha! Gotcha! Hey, how's it going? Oh. Okay, so you've regressed to childhood or something. Well, that was pointless. Well, someone you had to talk to around here created a sequence trigger for us to be able to move on from here. But before we do that, let's talk to these guys. Uh, yeah, thanks. I don't think I need anything from you, but thanks anyway. But anyway, now that we've gotten Burroughs back at our town there, let's get out of here. We can come back at any time. Okay, so first things first, we need to, well, get back to Township so that I can take advantage of Burroughs' services. So, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just no real good place to warp from to get back over here, so I'll probably just come back there off-screen in the next episode. Okay, how are we doing as far as HP and AP are doing? Okay, very good. So, first things first, I want to get my HP and AP restored, so that way all my AP that I care about is a multiple of four. If not, I may have to do some stuff during battles, but we are good where we're at. And let's see what I need to do with this guy. 
is buy a whole bunch of crappies. Let's get a couple stacks of those. That ought to be good. When you use a crappy on someone, it, well, works like crap on them. It drops them to one HP. And, okay, well, first things first, let's talk to Burroughs here. Oh, okay. Now, I'm not going to go into the absolute precise mechanics of how this all works. But basically, if you talk to him and you have some AP points left, he's not going to like that. That's going to drop his mood gauge as low as possible. So, yeah, don't do that. Not that it mattered because we were already there to begin with. But Okay, now, in order to learn a new spell from him, you need to have your HP and AP as low as possible. At least one HP and one AP left, but I'm going to go down to one and zero. So what I want to do is let's find those crappies that I just bought here. Bring all those up top. Okay, let's use a crappy on Ryu. And then, Aspara is the one who I'm going to want to teach a spell to. So, basically, in order to use up all of her AP, I want her to use Heal on Ryu over and over and over again. Do not use a crappy on Bosh or Aspara, because if you do that, then they will lose their fusion and thus lose their AP, and it'll throw off everything that I'm trying to do here because I want to get my AP down to zero in order to do this the way that I want to. You also need to get your HP down to one. That's another requirement he'll tell you if you talk to him enough times. But we haven't gotten that far yet. Whoop! I didn't mean to use a second one. Well, good thing I bought a whole bunch then. But yeah, that is a little bit of a problem with Aspara with her having so much AP. It takes a while to get rid of all of it, but since it was already a multiple of four, I figured, yeah, let's just leave it as is. But yeah, if your AP isn't a multiple of four, go into a battle outside and use, it, use some odd number of AP or whatever you need to get your AP a multiple of four, so that way you can just use heal until you get your... AP down to zero. Use the crappy then once I've got your AP down to zero and she has one HP and no AP. So now talk to him with a character in the lead of your party who has zero action points and that improves his mood. So now he wants to yeah have someone with as few hit points as possible so with the crappies, that makes it a lot easier. So let's see what he's got. So once you get down to 1 HP and 0 AP, he can teach you a spell. I do not want to learn Ice Blast for Aspara because she will learn it naturally eventually anyway. So let's actually not do that. But one thing you'll notice is that after talking to him a couple times, his mood improved there and he offered to teach a spell. But if you just don't teach a spell, his mood will still remain where it was before, and you can talk to him again and further improve his mood gauge so that you can learn even better spells. So once you got your HP and AP going, you improve his mood four times there, and he will teach you Fire Blast. Do I have to sacrifice two mountains to do that? No. Now, that's another game, viewers. So, yeah, the, the spell... He can teach up four different spells. He, let's see. He can also teach Jolt and Ice Blast there. So, Jolt, Ice Blast, I don't really care about from Burroughs. But I do want to get Fire Blast. And I also want to get another spell from him as well. So if you talk to him again a couple times, do that, and we'll learn a different spell. 
Which one is this? Shirako. Yeah, I think for some reason, Shirako is pronounced with a sh at the beginning of its pronunciation for some reason. At least that's what the dictionary told me. So that's how I'm going to go with that. But yeah, that is the ultimate wind spell, also known as Missile in the official translation. But the thing is, with that spell, is that it the, in order to be able to cast it, you have to have your mood gauge for that character high enough. In other words, you have to have fought a sufficient number of battles with them. So... Uh, Spara isn't going to be able to cast that right away. So I'm still going to have to fight a lot of battles for her to be able to use that. Now I'm talking to him again with Sten, so that way I could drop the mood gauge there. And now I want to get Bosch going here with that as well. So I've taught two spells to Aspara, and I'm going to teach two spells to Bosch there. I thought about perhaps teaching, instead of Shirako, maybe teaching Fire Blast to Ryu or something. Or maybe teaching Shirako to Sten there. But I like teaching Fire Blast to Bosh and Aspara. And also, yeah, well, Fire Blast and Shirako to both of them. And the thing is, is that you can only learn up to four total spells from Burroughs there. So he has four different spells that he could potentially teach. And then whatever you do, or whatever his mood gauge is, you can learn four copies of the same spell, two copies of two spells, or whatever. But once you're done with the four, that's it. So talk to him again with Bosch after dropping his mood again. Well, not again. You dropped his mood once, and then you improved it again. So now we get Fire Blast, and then I can get Shirako for Bosch, which he'll be able to use right away because of the storyline events that we've had with him that helped improve his mood. Unfortunately, Aspara does not have such storyline points to boost her mood. So if you really wanted to learn it right or use Shirako right now, you could just go fight a whole bunch of weak battles and then you could max out her... Well, maybe not max out, but get her mood gauge high enough so that she could cast Shirako. But it's so powerful and expensive that it's not worth casting right now. So by the time I actually need Shirako, I will have her mood gauge up sufficiently high to be able to do all that. But all right, so we got the four spells that I'm looking for, and that's all we can get out of him. And then... Yeah, I'm going to have to reset my uh, shamans there because when you get dropped down to 1 HP, as you can see with Aspara there, yeah, we lose our shaman form. So I'm going to have to reset all that, get healed up, and then we'll return to the dream world. But can we find the demon that's causing the Elder Tree's memory problems? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.